Hi there everybody, I'm so glad to see you here again and I'm a wretched man who brings value through my own experiences. And today we're gonna learn something about Dave Attell. I don't know who is he because it is my first ever try to look at him, to listen to his uh, stand-up about commercials uh, for Jagermeister. I don't know how to co correct, in Russia it is Jagermeister it called this way it is specific drink i tried i tasted it when i was uh, in 2015 and uh, it uh, tasted like uh, something sweetie sweetie herbs yes i want to say it but with alcohol and i don't drink alcohol right now i only tasted it uh, in my past and uh, Let's uh, take a look what uh, Dave Fatel thinks about it. By the way, I have been learning English for two years and I want to improve it. And uh, something I will understand, something will not. And if you can, you can write in the comment section below what you understood with me and what I misunderstood. Maybe it will be a really helpful thing. Really. Thank you so much. And let's dive into it for the American's grace. Let's go. I used to drink a lot of Jägermeister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, you guys do too. Jägermeister is for children. Jägermeister, okay. It is, it's too sweet, I'm serious. I give it out on Halloween, that's what Okay, if we will look at uh, vodka and uh, Jägermeister, then vodka is uh, less sweet, exactly. But I do. Here's a shot. Go home, find your dad's gun, be somebody, all right? <laughs> Jaeger is fun yet disappointing. It's kind of like running downstairs on Christmas morning and realizing you're Jewish. It kind of sucks. What, what's money and to realize you're Jewish? Is it about Nasi? Running downstairs on Christmas morning and realizing you're Jewish. It oh, on Christmas morning. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Everybody, oh, I remember. Now, <laughs> there's no commercials for Jägermeister. There's none. I've never seen one. Have you? No, I have. Right? There should be some, right? So you know what you're getting into. <laughs> but there aren't any. But I thought of some. Do you guys want to hear it? Do you? Do you, don't you? You do? Okay. Commercials for Jägermeister. A guy comes out of a hedge. He's covered in mud and blood. <laughs> Hedge. What is hedge? Is it uh, specific like green, green uh, fence? Yes. Hedge and he's inside of mud and blood. Blood is ready, ready, smally water and mud it is uh, blacky, shitty thing. He's holding one high heel shoe. Did I just eat a stripper? Jaeger. There you go. To the point. Direct. A stripper. Stripper, it is a uh, man or woman who does uh, stripping themselves. Like they take off their pants, they take off their... their wearings. How about another one? Can you do another one? I think you can. A little girl is sitting on the swing, not swinging. A tear rolls down her cheek. Where's daddy? Jaeger. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that's funny one. Not so like laughable, but uh, it makes uh, kind of feeling of smile. How about a third one? Can you do another one, you think? You guys are great. Okay. A guy, let's call him me, <laughs> is fucking the left eye of a pumpkin, okay? Left eye of a pumpkin? Like uh, leftover of a pum pumpkin? If that pumpkin didn't want it, why was it smiling at me? <laughs> Jaeger. Yes. Yes. Imagination is working. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to teach. I'm teaching. 
Okay, nice, amazing, thanks a lot for 428 Chase who recommended this video a lot for him, he recommended some more stuff of him, and uh, it was interesting, yes, uh, it was our new opening to, to us, yes, because I have never ever heard him and the more different people we hear from America, from different countries, English-speaking countries, the better our comprehension of English, because you know that uh, every person has their own traits of speaking, has their own uh, ways of speak, has their own vocabulary that they use a lot. We have all, all the people, all the people in our world have specific words to describe some things. For example, if something will be so astonishing to you and so like, oh my God, what is it? Uh, feeling, then some people will say Jesus Christ. Some people will say bloody hell and uh, some people will say something else. Yes, and uh, it is for every situation we have some type of reaction of our voice, of our words that come out to come, come, come to our mind. Yes, and uh, the more people we listen, the better we can uh, create this uh, world of our language. It is how it works. And I understood it uh, correct, uh, this man, nice, nice, hilarious man. I don't want to say that he's super man and super hilarious because it was only two minutes and I can't say like he's a hilarious because of only two minutes. Need to watch like a full stand-up of him and then we can say is it good really or not. Okay, thank you a lot for watching, have a wonderful day and... Uh, what what's more have nice moments enjoy your life bye bye